Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last episode, we defeated a few groups of various... from various gangs, lunatics and ironheads, and we just defeated some lurkers as well. And we were hunting down to see if any of them had any better gear than what we were currently wielding, and we kind of found some stuff. We found this antithermic insulated overcoat, which will be, I think, an upgrade from what we are currently wearing. They use a bunch of repairs, though, but we'll handle that when we get to Southgate Station. We also found some Tychrom bars, quality 82, which isn't the best by far, but it'll make, I think, a better spear than what we're currently wearing, probably one or two more damage, so we're looking to utilize that in the future, too. Oh, right. We also leveled in the last episode. We're now level 14. We don't get a stat point until level 16, so this remains unchanged. For our skills, five points in everything. So, that we started the game with. Keep pumping all of that. And our feats. Nimble, Paranoia, Sprint, Tranquility, Escape Artist, Pyromaniac, Exposed Weakness, Premeditation, and future orientation is what we took in the last episode. Sight empathy as well. I'm gonna have to decide what's gonna, by the way, be going into my brain. My intention is to drop temporal distortion and take uh, temporal contraction. And when we get another point of intelligence, that will go, that will free up a slot here. And we'll take probably exothermic aura is my plan. That ability sets us on fire makes us immune to fire, the damage it would deal, and sets fire to everything we walk around, uh, that we walk on. Very useful for crawlers, because it keeps them away from us. And I think there's a chance for a random encounter in one or two of these little areas. So we have to be a little careful about where we walk in. Still have not looked up the phone quest. I probably should do that. Ooh. Ah, uh, it's, it's not worth taking that. But the magazine's worth worth having. And we are not walking down here. That leads to the assassin and a cutthroat, if I recall correctly, waiting to ambush us. And we are not ready for that until we get some caltrops. And I'm pretty sure there's two cutthroats here. Both of whom who have now seen us. Let's see if we can make them visible. One is visible. The other one is not. They're both very close together, so the other one might be up here somewhere. If I was to throw a fireball... Wow. <clears throat> that was a lucky land where it did go. I don't think it landed exactly where I wanted it to, but it still set this one on fire, which means that we also want to recurrence him. And he should burn up and die. And his friend will charge us. So we want to get ready for him. For a chance to hit him. Oh, God. 69%. That is not so great. But he doesn't look like he's wearing armor that protects him from fire. So we'll set him on fire. And he should burn to death. Oh, or maybe not. Yes, he'll burn to death next turn, and so we're good. By good, I mean we don't have to lift a finger. So, yep, they're both dead. Perfect. They're both waiting, like, around this pillar or something, and they walk out and get sandwich you, if I recall correctly. I'll never forget these two, because they killed me the first time I was in this area. 
never forget every ambush that kills you, which is every ambush in this game the first time you tend to meet it. And cutthroats tend not to have anything good, so we're going to, going to be breaking down their daggers. Level 10 steel combat knife, that's garbage. Another level 10 dagger, that's junk. We don't want their armor, which I know is garbage, and their boots. Boots are hardly worth selling. I guess we'll keep those. Exactly 40 scrap is enough for a single repair kit. And, let's see, let's explore south. South Railroad Outpost is down there. Protectorate held territory. Also leads to Junkyard. Yeah, it does leave the junkyard. We might be able to sell some stuff there. No, we'll just go to Southgate Station. Tunnel leads down to some pigs, but in an area we could blow up with our dynamite, which eventually would lead us back around, I think. To, yeah, to this area, if I recall correctly. Okay, here we do not explore south tunnel north. No, we came from the south. Ah, oh, it's annoying. There we go. Oh! We detonated a cave-in. I forgot we did that already. All right, then. Well, that makes this even easier. Then we'll detonate some... Actually, I probably detonated an area over here, too. But let's go and check. Ooh, and we gotta be a little careful. Okay, good. We didn't instantly enter combat. There will be some rat hounds here. Let's take the opportunity to get more stuff. Let's go, rat hounds. Rat hound ears, hearts, and adrenaline glands. Did we? Yeah, we detonated this area too, Tim. Okay. Oh, a little more rat hounds. I, I don't know if I detonated the cave-in near all the mines we had been at earlier. Been at earlier? That were in this other area. So, we have some dynamite. I like to use it. Let's go ahead and head up north. All these rat hounds will be back then. I think. Yep. No problem. We'll just kill all them. Low level rat hounds are, should not be too tough. I thought there was an alpha here somewhere. Okay, we did not destroy these rocks. I guess we can explore this area and get rid of the lunatics when we get back from Southgate Station. Okay, that should have destroyed all those rocks. We'll come back here later. Our food has expired. Let's go ahead and have... Burger Burger. Might be happy to have the extra hit points. Actually, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure it gives us extra hit points. It might just increase our constitution by one, but I think that does give us extra hit points. We'll have to check, viewer. I'm going to forget. We have 185 at the moment. 
It may just increase our toughness, basically. Oh, you know what we can do? We can explore some of the burrow area areas while we're here, I suppose. They're not really worth killing, and they're worth less now that we leveled up again. But I think I still want to do it at, at Omega Station, just to see what's in there. I mean, I already know it's a low-level shield, and it's not worth the effort it's going to take us to go through that area, but we'll give it a go. All right, so we want fabric repair kits. I think those are in the pens area. Oh, we forgot to tell Big Brett that we did the Camp Harthor thing. Hey, Big Brett. You got those drill parts by digging through Junkyard, I hear. Hey, you really are the errand boy of this station. I went to Camp Harthor. Ah, good, and what's happening there? Everything's all right. The camp wasn't damaged in an earthquake, and they'll fix communication lines soon. They also had some burr issues, but now that it's all sorted, the camp is functioning as usual. Ah, great, glad to hear everything is all right. It's all set then. You've done your part. He has 100 experience points, but we did let him know that nothing that they'll be back up and on their feet communicating with us soon. And hello, Quentin. So he's buying some of this garbage, just sell him all our garbage leather, and then he's buying three chemicals, four organs. We're going to be going back home to Core City after this, so I will keep all my organs at the moment. We'll take four repair kits. Thank you, Quentin. Let's go ahead and repair this armor. Uh-oh, this is not enough. It's enough to get it at least into wearable state. We need one more advanced repair kit. Ha! Huh, looks like me, actually. I don't... I have a dark coat that looks like this. And I'm wearing a beanie most of the time now, since I'm on bald thanks to chemotherapy. I don't care about being bald very much, although it's winter, so my head is really cold when I step outside the house. Something I had to get used to. Alright, Lucas. So you're buying a belt. You'll take all of our ammo. We will sell you the Luger. That's all your cash. Okay. Are you selling dynamite? You are. We might as well take all three of it. And that will do. And I don't think we have anything else I want. Oh! We want a spear shaft. I think we have one in our room. We'll grab a handful of stuff bring it to our barrels in Core City. Sell some more stuff there. Potentially. Do we have anything that we can sell there? Crossbow, maybe, at Thersia's. Sometimes she buys such. Uh, how much do these weigh? Eight pounds. We can take all of them with us. all I can... Well, we can take this with us, too. I'm looking up at our inventory carry capacity. That acid collector part is not... is difficult to sell. We'll just leave it here. Okay, that's good. Let's head on over to Core City. We've learned 
it's cheapest to do that via the docks. Gives us an excuse to see if Coral's actually standing here. Yeah, I didn't notice her here last time. She, I think she's at one of the bars or one of the docks. And she's not here today. Savannah, would you mind taking us to Core City? 20 Charons. We'll visit the Hardcore City bar briefly and see if Coral's there. And if so, we'll talk to... We'll, we'll chat with everyone for a bit. I believe, by the way, in case you were curious, that the Southgate Station folks do accept Charons as a form of currency, but prefer Southgate Station credits. Which is why we default to that. I guess while we're here, we can sell a bunch of this potentially garbage components. Hey, Halim, show me what you have. So he'll buy this... Oh, uh, okay, he's reset his inventory, because I see 300 Charons there. And sell him the shield and both of these shield bits. For most of his cash. Always try to clear out the merchant's cash when you get a chance in Core City. See, what are you buying today? Nothing that I want to sell you. You reset your inventory, but you're not selling a better belt. I really want a doctor's belt, and I don't know where I'm getting it from, because no one seems to sell belts anymore. Hey, Oscar. Let's see. So you'll buy eight firearm bits. And that will do. Get rid of those out of our inventory. The scopes are too useful to sell those. I love that they can stack now, by the way. That's a very nice change. There was no I couldn't think of why they wouldn't be able to stack earlier. Other than uh, arbitrary uh, rules. I'm so glad they do now. We won't be using a weapon that requires them, but we can craft weapons that use that utilize them. The creature bits here, including the crawler tail. Everything has to be sorted as well, viewer. I do apologize for this, but it's it's important to my mental state that this happens. Who buys... Oh, wow. A quality 100 universal psionic modul modulator. We'll hold on to that one. I wonder if we could... Probably, probably got that from some of these lunatics earlier. Didn't even realize it. Okay. Time to make that spear. Let's see if I'm right and it's one or two levels higher. So, level 13 spear. One level higher than what we're currently using. One more min, one more max damage. No reason why we shouldn't create it. No reason why we shouldn't use it. Which means we can break down now our current spear. I'm sorry, our old spear. For 106 bits of metal. Which means we can make an advanced repair kit with that. of this here. We don't need the spear shafts. We don't need a serrated knife mold with us. What's weighing us down? Some stuff to sell. So we don't need this or that. This armor can be kept for the future if I need electrical resistance. We can also hold on to the biohazard suit. Okay, that's good. Inventory management completed. 
I want to repair our armor to full, so let's do that while I'm walking around. So she sells advanced repair kits, and I need one of those. So I think she does. Yep, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and repair our armor to full. Let's get back out there again. Do we need to see Heidi for anything? We, sh we should see Heidi for something while I'm here. We should buy the ampules. Hey, Heidi. Always want that. They're used for drugs that you take, but they're also used for components for breaking them down. So they're used in quite a few things for biology. We'll go through easily a hundred of them. Getting blood and adrenaline. Possibly taurine as well. All right, and so what's our next step, Tim? What is our next step? Where do we want to go next? Hmm. I'm not sure. Burrers. I said burrers. So this is mostly for completionists sake rather than for any great need to do this but we'll do the two brewer areas that we left unexplored before we did depot a just to get them mapped out but it's not worth doing it we're going to we're going to be using resources but we're not in any danger of running low on stitching coins or money. For, uh, well, it's the same thing. Or resources here. So, uh, let's go to Southgate Station. Okay, let's do it. Dynamite. We could quickly stop downstairs and blow some holes in the two paths here. Kill the lurkers who come to investigate. Get these areas at least mapped. So why don't we do that while we're here? Oh, and we didn't lockpick this area either, so it gives us an excuse to do that. Alright, so... Let's see. Where can I put down the dynamite? And then eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Oh, this was a wrong area. You're here. You're not here? Oh! Hello, murderer! <laughs> I bumped right into you. Uh. Hmm. Murderers are not known for their ability to resist fire very well. He'll be back. And he 
he's not the only... Ah, look at that. I see him right here. Can you guys see him? I forgot loot lurkers had maniacs. They're a new class on hard mode, armed with a machete. We'll need to set him on fire, too, because a 56% chance to hit is abysmal. Though I don't know what type of armor he's wearing. I think I'll back up. And we'll use a fireball. I was hoping that would do more damage. Oh, he... Oh, God. Okay, he's immune to that. And we need to sprint. Okay, he's wearing fire-resistant gear. Well, that's going to be super awkward then for us. Oh, that was a fantastic hit. We recurrence that, and we can we hit him again? Oh, that was not much damage there. I should have used morphine instead of what I what I did just did. If I run down here, Tim, you're committing to sticking to fighting this this guy. And I'm gonna do it because we have the movement. Oh! Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we're stunned. Just barely did not die. Man, 56% chance to hit is not very good. Let's use dilation so we can run away if necessary. Missed. Oh, there's the murderer back again. We need to hit this guy at least once. Another critical hit. Perfect. Incapacitated him, which is great. Let's run up. We get one good hit on this guy. That was not... It could have been better. Let's see if we can set him on fire again. And we do. Will not die from that. Woo! Our shield saved our life. We would have died otherwise. Now uh, he crit us once with one of those onslaught hits. I don't think that's all of them. I thought there was a guy with an assault rifle who was guarding this path. And what does the maniac have on him? Curved Tonton Steel Machete, level 14. Does a lot more damage when it crits, so that was unlucky for us that he managed to get to do so. Remember, though, that we're using Tabby Boots now, so this chance to crit is slightly better than it had been when we're struck. A normal grenade. I will not take that. Some stitching coins. Ooh. We'll take all of that. You can keep that garbage. Is there really no one else here? Did they change what's guarding here? You know what might save their life as well? The Burrow Burger. Give us a little more hit point there. Yeah, okay. Normally there's one guy standing here, and it's a guy with an assault rifle, if I recall correctly. Get all this fog of war gone.
pipes. Looks like these aren't in use anymore, judging from the uh, holes in them. Okay, good. That clears. Oh, we didn't search the. Did we search the murderers? No, we didn't take. We don't care about the murderous stuff. Oh, I do care though about breaking down that weapon. I feel like these weapons should not give you the amount of bits they give you. I feel like they... So, at some point in the past, it used to cost you only 20 make, uh, bits of scrap to make a normal repair kit, and 40 to make... I think it was 40. It might have been 50, but I think it was 40. To make a advanced repair kit. And they doubled it for them if if depending on if it costs 80 or sorry 40 or 50 to make the advanced repair kits well daggers used to give you hundreds of bits and then they changed it so that some items like goggles and daggers no longer did that which i like the change of it wouldn't make sense you could effectively get hundreds of metal scraps for breaking up a dagger Six, seven, eight. Hello, another maniac. Okay, so he's all he's gonna be armed with the same thing. He'll be armed with um. That was the wrong thing to use. I wanted a fireball. That was a misclick, actually. And that's kind of why I wanted a fireball. I thought there was someone else around the corner. Oh, that's a psychic. Uh, we're dead. Yep, that's it. <laughs> you can't let in hard mode. You can't let a psychic hit you. Not even once. Not even once. You're you're you're, you're doomed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time we see the psychic. All right, so. Nice. Set the psychic on fire. Wow! Didn't expect to actually get the maniac with that. Let's recurrence whatever damage we did to him. Which is 28 mechanical. We hide because we know there's a guy with an assault rifle somewhere there too. He healed up all the way. We have a slightly better chance to hit this guy. But it's still not a great chance. But we have to take it. Hmm. We might be running. I'm going to use Adrenaline Rush. We're going to activate our shield. We'll use some Morphine. And we'll wait for him. Has a miserable chance to hit. Oh, well, we did hit him, though. Good. Let's flee. There's one more guy left. Yeah, we can regenerate. Oh, well, we're about to take a big hit here. Darn it. Okay, we're gonna wait for our fatigue to come back, and while I'm waiting, we'll charge our shield. Let our let our psychics re recharge. Oh, I don't need that. Uh, here you go, Mr. Stalker. You can have this. Those are used to make sting ball grenades, but that requires chemistry, so we're not making those. Our Burrow Burger's almost expired, so let's have k popper steak. Level 11 Shock Steel Machete. Decent weapon. We can sell it for an okay amount of cash. Uh, 
Oh uh, no, we don't repair that. Did we accidentally we did not accidentally kill the guy with the assault rifle, so he's still here somewhere. Stop. Don't attack the rocks. It's a great way to damage your weapon without any benefit. He's in here, I suspect. Oh, is he stealthed? No. He's not there? We killed only two. We know this guy with an assault rifle somewhere. Where he is. Hmm. Neo Luger can be broken down. Anyway, they changed a few items to only give you a certain amount of scrap max, no matter what their level is or and their durability. Uh, daggers, goggles, pistols, sledgehammers. Those numbers actually give, can give you a lot, but not at lower levels. In any case, I feel like they should do that with spears, because I don't think spears and machetes... I don't think they've done that with them. Oh, he's dead! Oh, we did kill him! When did, when did that happen? Well, I'm, I'm glad he's dead. He has a... Arguably decent assault rifle, but it's heavily damaged. We have repair kits. Plenty of them. Let's see. So if this goes up to... 5,000, this was worth it. Okay. Yep, it was worth it. We'll get just as much back using the repair kits as it would have been if we didn't use them. So we'll repair it to that value there. Nothing in the barrels we care about. Let's get the rest of this on the map. How about that? Looks like we accidentally, or well, we unpurposely set him on fire. I just didn't realize it. Okay, and then we can get out of here. Oh, actually, we should explore this turn first. There should be nothing down here. Got a way up. Or, or connecting path. No, that leads, yeah, that leads to this. Uh, doesn't matter, we're not taking it. Alright, so. TK Punch. My goodness. And we don't have the fortitude to resist that. Surprised he didn't kill us outright. I'm used to that critting me. <laughs> Just immediately ending me, so. Glad glad we got to live uh, so that we could get carved up by electrical uh, machete instead, huh? Now I said burrowers, if I recall correctly. We also have a group of lurkers here, though, so I think what we'll do is We'll fight this group of lurkers and try to clear them. And then we can go and fight the burrowers in the Omega Station. Oh, we have to get there first, right. This is going to be a bit tricky. There will be mines up ahead. We don't have detection goggles. We have plus one perception goggles, which can work as ghetto versions of that. So we'll hope that will work out for us. Those are trash. Oh man, can I not see them? Okay, I can. I just have to be patient. Okay, 
good. This is working. I want to get rid of all the fog of war. It means this little bit here's got to go too. All right, good. And it looks like they probably were walking together and hit a mine. Which ended these three. There's another around here, if I recall correctly. Yep, there it is. And there's... Uh, we can walk around it, I think. Old data medium, a floppy disk. You guys might see Legacy of the Ancients hit the channel soon. I've been meaning to record it again since cancer has come into my life. I've been tempted to replay that again as it is the, my favorite game ever. And it'd be nice to play the first role-playing game I ever played one more time on my channel. We, we may follow it up with uh, Legend of Black Silver as well. If I'm going to do that, I should probably start tomorrow. All right, here we go. Time for Lunatics. Actually, first... Before we fight them... I'm going to clear this area because we have a chance to get better armor here. Normally in this area, behind this door, there was a cutthroat. He's still there, but there's also an assassin. We haven't fought an assassin yet. They are really slippery, but they don't wear heat-resistant armor. They're wearing the, the armor we were wearing. So it'll be electricity or cold and... Uh, oh no, is it, is it fire resistance? I can't remember now. Okay. I have no grenades for this, so we have to rely on a single flashbang and a good stab and fire for all my needs here. Here's the cutthroat. This is the easier of the two to kill. And that's not going to kill him. Okay, we were just crippled, so we lost two strength. We can no longer hit him with our dagger. The assassin is out and is looking at, probably staring at us. I don't know where she is. Oh, she's just running, okay. She doesn't care. What did she use? Adrenaline. She also has Sprint. They're not together. I don't care. Good. That will make her run away. Oh! How much damage did she take? 29? She is not immune to it. use recurrence. Oof. This is because of her evasion. She's, we're going to have to use psionics if we want to kill her. <coughs> and the cutthroat is no longer afraid. Neither is she. I don't know how we're doing this, Tim. This was a mistake. Hmm. She hasn't healed herself yet. I think the storm.
distortions are the way to go with her. She won't realize she's dying until it actually happens. No, she healed herself to full. That sucks. Oh, good critical on that guy. Good. So she is exhausted. So she did. She's lost action points. What, what does it do again? I'm oh, sorry, fatigued. Oh, she's lost all her movement points. We can pop, but we can set her on fire again to make her run away. Oh, oh my goodness! I'm glad that misclick didn't happen. She's almost dead. Can we kill her? We can. Alright, not bad. Very lucky crit on this cutthroat. Has absolute trash on him. Oh! That could potentially be a fantastic dagger. Let's go over here to the shelves, because we're going to leave some garbage here. Let me take a look and see what's in here. Arguably, Tim, you should take the MK1 grenade because you could use it against the lurkers. Eight hundred thirty experience points for that assassin. Also, my goodness, worth killing. Okay, now what did we get? So, garbage armor on the what should we call it? Oh, interesting insulated overcoat. 10% only armor penalty. Decent stealth. No, it's not worth it. I like my current armor. Level 11. Shock steel combat knife. 11 to 19. Does more damage. We, we, we might start using this for a bit. We all need to carry electrical... Well, I want the Kudkri, actually. Or however you say that. Okay, let's get this on the map really quick. Well, hello. There's like a poster here. Or some sort of electrical outlet. I can't make out what it actually is, though. And this was the area we used some blocks on earlier. Blocks on? Dynamite on. Okay, so now we can kill the lunatics that are over here, potentially. And we could use the machete. I like my dagger. Besides, I have an actual dagger in real life, too, so it makes sense for me to wield it. All right. Let's try this. Oh, okay. Uh, we won the roll. Okay, kind of went where I want it. Didn't get the brawler, though. Let's see if we can get lucky with this. Yeah, this is not a good chance to hit them. Worked, though. That's fantastic. They're too far away, though, for me to take advantage of that. Oh, maybe they're not. They are. But if I sprint... I really need the brawler to die. That's not... And he's not gonna... Let's try running away. Use our shield. You smell purple. If I move here, can I stream him? Good. Now he's going to run away, and we injured another dog. Kill the dog. I 
I can't recurrence that crit. Good. Gunner dead. Uh-oh. Uh, we need to run. <laughs> we need to run. I know what that sound is. That was a sprint from the brawler. We are not... We are at least running to the exit. It's seven... I have 17 action points left if I want to run. It is... 18 to swing the spear. Okay. Now we have a long trip. To get to the other side. To zone them properly. But we'll do it. We're gonna do it. Oh, it just occurs to me. I only have one dynamite with me. I have to be a bit picky. So this leads to the same-ish area, but we're way too close to that brawler. He'll run up and TK punch us and kill us. So we do not want to go that way. So we're going to take a really roundabout way to avoid him getting the first turn on us. Remember, when you zone enemies, when you walk back into the room, if you let it in combat, you were penalized 1,000 points of initiative. You are going last. Everything else gets to go before you get to go. As such, you want to walk over there with morphine and shields used, for example. Which we could do. And we probably would survive the uh, TK fist. Or we can just enter the room from a different side. Which is what this will do right here. We did not kill the electrician, so we have him to worry about, too. Oh, this is interesting. I don't remember this little block being here before. They haven't healed themselves. I'm going to let them get a little closer. And then we can use a fireball. Good. He's dead. So we have the dog and the brawler to still worry about. He will bravely move toward the exit. Okay. Oh my goodness, he is fast. The brawler is more important than the dog? Am I gonna... Oh, I think we'll stick it out, viewer. We'll, we'll try sticking it out. So let's use a shield. Morphine run up and we're going to try killing them. Okay, we failed to kill them. Oh, or did we? We did not. I'm going to see what he does. We could use an adrenaline, but I think he's going to die anyway. Wow! Wow! It's all because we used morphine. He, we resisted the TK punch. He missed his dirty kick, and he missed his crippling strike. Wow! That sucks for him. Wow! Oh my goodness! That sucks. I'm so sorry, brawler. And you had an electrical uh, fist. What was this? Level seven. It's it's worth keeping. Worth well worth selling at least. A scoped hurricane crossbow worth selling. Level fifteen. Wow. Imagine imagine getting this before you went into deep OA. That's a that's a nice find. We're gonna repair that and sell it. And the chiller? Chiller has just garbage. We just have a key on him. Oh, and the gunner. Forgot all about the gunner. I thought there was a fourth here. And the 
foot locker with has that the key is used for. Oh, it has a time of here a scope. We can definitely utilize that. The real secret's here though. There's a uh there's another locked chest here, but it has better loot in it than I think the other that chest had. We could we don't need this armor. Don't need the boots, don't need the dagger. We don't care about bolts. You know, I'm just gonna leave all these behind. And Mr. Gunner, what did you have on you? A jackrabbit. That's always trash. We'll break it down. Oh, his leather armor, though, isn't so bad. We'll sell it. It's always weird for me to see some decent rat hound leather armor. It's still only level 5. But it's, it's not bad. I'd be, I would have been really happy to find this before Deep Away also. Or even before the uh, Omega Complex. But uh, this is a really tough area to do. Because you have to do all of it without zoning. Yeah, that wouldn't have, that we, we would not have been able to do that. Do we have anything else in these repairs? No, we're good. Uh, I think we have time for one more room. Oh, uh, well, I sh I should explore down this way, but I do want to explore the burrower area. How long have I been playing for? I need to check. You're, I'll be back. An hour. So we will stop here. Just about an hour. 57 minutes. So we'll stop here. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you when we get back. We'll explore this area, I think, on the other side of this transition. And then we'll head down to, into a tunnel, which will have some burrs in it. We'll kill the burrs, detonate the uh, cave in there just because we can. And then we'll explore more burrower areas. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. And take care, everyone.